And with that, the Rogue's Reign storyline officially concludes in The Flash, issue number 86. Written by Joshua Williamson with art by Rafa Sandoval, inks by Jordi Tarragona, colors by Arif Prianto and Hi-Fi, and letters by Steve Wands. And this book starts off with Captain Cold. He's recounting and retelling the experiences that he's had with Flash from his very first encounter all the way to the present, which we then cut to Captain Cold and the Flash fighting, with Captain Cold thinking how today's the day that he's finally going to beat the Flash, while the Flash, he's thinking that him and Captain Cold have fought before and many times, but they've never fought this hard and with this much power. Because at this point, Captain Cold, he's just mad. He is just hungry with power. He wants nothing more than to pummel and beat down the Flash. However, it's not long before the Flash realizes that the exert of Captain Cold's absolute zero power is actually slowing him down in a more helpful way where the Flash has more control over his supercharged speed force. So he starts zipping around his frozen allies, slowly chipping away at the ice with friction before they're able to break free and join the Flash in trying to take down Captain Cold. Kid Flash and Avery... They zip on out, having more control over their powers because they too have been training with the rogues. They find Iris West and they bring her to Mirror Master's headquarters where the rogues are trying to convince Mirror Master to help them, saying, that is not Leonard, that's not Captain Cold, that's not our friend. Because he would not have crossed any of these lines and when Golden Gladder comes in and tells Mirror Master, you know it's true, it's time to do the right thing. And Mirror Master obliges, freeing Central City of Captain Cold's control. This only further enrages Captain Cole as he continues his assault on the Flash before Golden Glider comes down and tries to talk some sense into him. But again, despite everyone's best efforts, Captain Cold's just not listening to reason. He has fully and completely been driven to madness. And Captain Cold charges at Barry once more, saying that you turned my family against me, at which point Barry glows a bright gold and just lunges right into Captain Cold with so much supercharged power, and he's just laying the punch after punch after punch after punch completely out of control himself. It's as if the Speed Force itself has possessed Barry and is guiding his every action, but Golden Glider uses her raps to calm him down. At which point, Barry looks at what he did and does actually feel ashamed by it. The issue then starts to wrap up as the police, they come, take Captain Cold away, as well as the other rogues are said to have escaped during this time frame. And then Barry, he actually turns himself in, saying that until he learns to get himself under control, he belongs in Ironhide's prison. And I really dug this issue. I like how it shows how failure can drive you to the brink of madness as displayed with Captain Cold, how he so bad wanted to beat the Flash that he has essentially abandoned his family, he's abandoned his morals, the morals of the rogues, all in the name of trying to beat the Flash. I think the rogues also shined really well in this story as it once again shows that under the right circumstances, they too could be heroes. But because they like living by their own rules on the outside of the law, they're almost always going to end up being petty thieves, but when the chips are down and the city that they love is in actual trouble, they will try to fix it. Especially since they were part of the initial cause of it, it was almost like a redemption story for them. So now everything's as back to normal as possible, except the Speed Force is still supercharged. We know that Barry is going to be in Iron Heights at the beginning of the next issue, and I'm kind of wondering what that's also going to mean for Kid Flash and Avery, if they're going to also feel this supercharged speed force from here on out or if somehow the flash is siphoning off just a little bit of extra power which makes kid flash and avery a little more normal and i'm going to say that the flash issue number 86 gets the epic gold medal so the flash issue number 86 have you read this book i would love to hear your thoughts Please leave your comments in the comment section below and if you like this video i'd love it if you'd smash that like button share it with some friends subscribe if you're not subscribed already and ring that notification bell for more comic book content and if you're wondering what to watch next consider one of these two videos <laughs> all right take care have a great day and as always stay geeky